Hello lovelies, this is Maya broadcasting out the UK and this is Remembrance Weekend. So, and today I am going to do another Hasslinger soap and that is the Zalbei, okay, which is sage, also for sensitive skin, for sensible haut, and it is blue. Okay, weird color, I know, look at this. And it has actually a slight floral touch, slightly sweet. It smells very nice, super nice. I've taken it, I've shaved a bit off on this side, as you can see. And I'm just sticking that back because I want the scent to last as long as possible. So. And I have put that bit and squashed it right down into my shave bowl. I'm using the top again. I find it easier than the small one, the bottom part where you're supposed to put the soap in. Because with bigger brushes, anything above 22 mils, you need more space. And I think this is a 24 mil. This is my yucky evil zebra. Next to me, I have in the basin my flannel in some cold water and I'm going to be using a new blade today and I'm trying to get it open. Oopsie. Okay, it's stuck to the paper a bit. So, and this is the Gillette Ruby. Now, can you see that? Gillette Ruby Platinum Plus. Okay, not used this ever before. I do not know how it's going to perform. And I'll be loading it into the Yintel Adjustable, also known as the Yshi Adjustable, and it's a twist to open. You, you use this to twist it open. You load it, a butterfly, TTO, and then you close down at the bottom again. Once you've closed it, and you do have a little bit of a hangover here, actually quite a bit of hangover. Um, let me see, I think that's one side is, okay, let me just make sure it's in, yep. Okay, and now you can now that you've closed it, you can now adjust the um, strength you want. I'm going to go low. I'm only going to use the one because I don't know how sharp this blade is. So I'm going to be careful. Um, so I'm going mild. All right. So. I have my teaspoon of water already loaded and I'm going to put in one mil now just to get the soap blooming. Oh, that's most probably not enough. Let me see. The soap, by the way, feels a little softer than the um, marigold one. I was looking for the English word. Um, feels a tiny bit softer actually I will put one and a half mils in so that's what let me adjust the camera so that's what that looks like as you can see I have now the bottom only just about coating the soap all right there you go so um, I told you that I'm going to be using the evil zebra, didn't I? So now let me just get myself ready. Put my little piece of paper there. Get my face wet. How are you guys today? Well, we had minus one last night felt like minus three and as soon as I stepped out this morning at about half past seven everything was frozen over 
I have a water butt in the garden and the water in there had a layer of thin ice on the top so that's my face now a little wet let me put my glasses back on and I will now start the lathering so adjust the camera down okay here we go let me step back this is still dry dipping it into the water shaking it out four or five times dipping it in again shaking out four or five times third time just to make sure that all the bristles are wet but I don't want the brush dripping so there it's wet because I want to be in control here we go it's also easier to hold with that cut out A very mild but lovely scent. Okay, this is loaded, so I'm going to add now up another mill. So now we've got half a teaspoon in there. Yes, and why do I always repeat myself so that everybody knows if you're a big if there are beginners out there that are watching this then they can follow what I'm doing so adding the rest that's a whole teaspoon in here so that they can just follow also the amounts and get a feeling for themselves really because I know this was the hardest bit for me in the beginning is how to judge whether a lather is ready or not The shine is already there and it's already super creamy. I'm still going to add a little more. So I'm drawing up another teaspoon, but I don't think I will be using a full teaspoon. I'm putting in one mil. Look at this loveliness. on my face there we go this is very creamy it's not a lofty it's a tight lather at the moment so I'm adding another mil so that's nearly half a teaspoon more This one seems to lather quicker and easier than the marigold one, the calendula. <clears throat> but as I said, the other one was a lot harder too, so maybe I should have um, let it soak for a little, bloom for a little longer. So now I've got exactly half a teaspoon in. I added a half a mil in. You can see it's still quite tight. You can see how the texture is. This is a very tight texture. I want it a bit loftier. Let's see. I'm just going to go for it and add the half a teaspoon in. So that makes two teaspoons in total. See what difference this makes. OK, 
Okay, it's a bit more lofty, a lot more sheen. Doesn't feel as sticky. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Let's do the finger test. It's got sleekness. It's very creamy. Very, very creamy. It's not sticky at all. That's just lovely. So I'm stopping right there. Put this down. Adjust the camera. Let's put that on. There you go. So let's wet the face again. Okay, and I've already got a mess. Sorry. This feels like a completely different texture to the other one. Super creamy. Right, here we go. This feels quite sharp, but not rough, it's smooth. A hair. I obviously didn't do my hair properly this morning. I obviously left bits out. Don't know if I didn't lather up the other one properly, but this this soap seems to be a lot slicker. A lot it feels a lot nicer. This blade is very good, feels very comfortable indeed. I'm thinking this would be a super effective blade if I had it on something higher. I'm guessing now that this is a blade that doesn't go well with every razor. Um, 
let's see. This is actually already super close. I can feel it on the skin. Trying to suffocate myself with the lava. So let's have another go. I'm still on the lowest. I'm glad I didn't choose anything higher because this is a very effective blade indeed. some hair off again. This is another reason why I like adjustables. because you can give the blades a real good test without having to switch razors. So this feels super, super close. I'm not doing another pass round. The slickness of the soap is there. Great residual slickness. So let me just take this off. Let me pause you. I want to let in some fresh water. Okay, I've just taken the foam out of my brush. I just squeezed my brush out. I'll do it again. And this is what's come out. Look how much I've still got left in there. So let me just put the brush into the fresh water and see if I can get this onto the bowl so that you can see. I can't because most of it's still on my hand from the brush but here just to give you an indication look how much lather that produced it's lovely it feels fantastic right let me just give another wash the face off just to make sure all residual is off This is a very close, close, close shave. Um, this is a very effective blade. Um, as I said, I suspect that it won't fit into every razor. It could be way too aggressive for some. Or maybe, yeah. Right, now. Let's, I'm going to put on, let me just feel, it actually feels very good, um, not as, has a great post shape feel, I could actually go without anything, but I think I'm just going to add a little Wickham's Unscented, did I, there we go, that one, Soothing Post Shave Balm, it's unscented. Just add 
just put a little on just because it's so close so maybe I could even take this down a notch and use this blade in the above the tie calypso which is the bitch has a blade gap that is even smaller than this on the one so this was the let me just show you again so to get the blade out you've got to bring that back to the max like that and then open up the twist and take the blade out for washing I'm just going to rinse everything and put that down on the side hopefully not cutting myself there we go so let's just recap so the lava I did with two teaspoons this time two full teaspoons of water I use the synthetic 24 ml yaki evil zebra 24 I'm not quite sure I think it is this one it doesn't say on here but I have noted down somewhere right um great lather that is the Haslinger Ringelblume uh, Salbei in blue and now just for a little bit of extra today um, looking I'm going to be using the 25th anniversary I don't think you can read that or oh, maybe if I go like that okay the forever 25th anniversary woman perfume it actually fits very nicely because this is a bit floral and the Zalbai had the teeniest hint of floral as well very mild scent on here um, hardly noticeable from an after effect but whilst you're shaving it's just super duper nice so I'm really pleased with both soap and the new blade and I hope you enjoyed it too have a lovely weekend bye bye <laughs>